From the great halls of their house, there are assembled three who hope to one day be the world's greatest driving heroes. Created from the cosmic legends of the universe comes our team captain, the Vision, Bill Fisher. And their soon-to-be Wonder Woman, Vicky Fisher. And our Captain Marvel and head flight trainee, Jennifer Scripchuk. Their mission, to fight injustice, share what is right and wrong, to get you out of your house and come out racing with them and serve all mankind. They are the Garage Heroes in Training Team. Dominic Ben Dawson, Ben Dawson. I'm looking to play some Jeopardy jargon with Ben Dawson. Breaker, breaker, Ben Dawson. What you got? We've got new Jeopardy questions for you, Ben. Hey, hey, let's talk about it. All right. So this one is uh, written in, and I'm thinking that it's not terrible. Not terribly hard, but okay. We were trying to figure out exactly what it meant by. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Thank you. I lost <laughs> it. I lost it. Can you tell? What's meant by? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm editing this one. Don't worry. Um, where did it go? I had it. Oh, here it is. Ben Dawson, what is meant by? Oppo lock or counter steer? Yeah, oppo lock stands for opposite lock. It's where you lock the wheel in the opposite direction of the turn. So if you're turning in left and the car starts to tail and it starts to step out, you turn the wheel back to the right in the opposite direction of the turn. Also, a counter steer. You call it a counter steer because you're steering counter to the direction the car is turning. Does that make sense? It does make sense, but I don't think Vicky or Jen understand what we just said. No. Okay, so it happens when you when you're losing traction as you're trying to turn so you're trying to arc the car left or right and as you as the rear end starts to slide around starts to overtake the front of the vehicle so you're, you're slipping the rear wheels the way to fix that just like i think you people live north of me you've probably been in the ice before right the ice and snow ice and snow mm-hmm. so when the car starts to slide you're trying to make a left turn and the car starts to slide which way do you turn the wheel back to the right a little bit to hope it catches like you turn them left it starts to slide you can kind of turn it back to the right like oh let me get this thing so it's not going to slide all the way around spin out right you steer into the slide do you remember doing that in the snow yes i do remember doing that in the snow so right yeah so you're driving in the snow and you're trying to turn one way and the car starts to, to, to slide too much in that direction you flick the wheel back the other way to kind of correct it does that make sense and then, yep. does that seem familiar jen have you done that before i know you have yeah so that's, that's all it is yeah. people are talking about when people are talking about, oh, yeah, opposite lock, that's the whole deal. It's when the, when the butt it, end is trying to overtake the front end, you just turn the wheel back against the turn to sort of like to sort of correct the slide and then bring things back into line, back into the, the arc that you were traveling before the wheel started sliding away from you. It looks so much easier in slow motion. Are you watching this? Might do it right now. <laughs> no, but usually when they do that, it's in slow motion. Like top gear right, drifting. Right. Yes, drifting. But, yes. But also, you folks have you folks have done it enough in the ice and the snow that I'm sure it's inherent to you. But then when you hear some internet jockey like, "Oh, I threw a ton of oppo lock in there, look at me counter steer," you don't realize that that's the exact same thing you've always been doing in the ice and snow driving. It's not a it's not a big deal, but it's it's a concept that's definitely uh, mythologized in like car culture and like uh, there's even like a, co- a section uh, on Jalodnik called Oppo. Like there's a whole section, but I'm not sure what the bucket is for. Like what's in there if it's a uh, racing or track driving, but there's a whole section of Jalodnik this this title of Oppo lock or something like that. So it's like it's a whole big deal. All it is is just steering uh, steering into the sl- into the skid like you do in the ice and snow. And it's something that you need to know. You know, if you get fast enough on the racetrack where you're overrunning your rear traction on an exit, like we talked about recently when we were talking about the approach for getting in and out of a hairpin, for example, if you talk about you know being too enthusiastic with your corner exit timing or your full throttle application, uh, you know, then you can get too you can get too loose and your your rear end tries to overtake your front end. So that's when I think that's one of the most frequent times on track where you would encounter this upset condition that you had to correct. And then as soon as you do, you'd be like, Oh yeah, ice and snow, you know, you'll figure it out. But it's a it's a it's a big time concept that's hopefully inherent to most people who already drive and kind of know what they're talking about. Talk to me. 
I just, I just really think it's funny how the Southern boy thinks we're out there, Jennifer, playing in the snow with our cars. <laughs> I do every time. No, no but I, no, I, I just assume, I just assume that it's a usually fact of usually we're inside trying to be warm and getting out of the snow. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I guess I'm thinking of the Southern concept of when it snows. We when it snows, we don't have salt trucks or that. It's not that good. So when, when it really ices over, snows down here. We're out here having to slide around just to get places. I guess you guys have a pretty good infrastructure with uh, salt or whatever it is they put on our in sand. So y'all have this whole thing. Because up there, you guys have the, the things in the interstate. Like I went up to Wilkesbury or something like that. And I'm driving around. I'm like, what are these huge huts in the middle of the interstate? It's like, oh, that's where they keep the salt and all that crap. So yeah, we don't have the kind of uh, infrastructure. So I guess I, I am assuming that you guys are more used to sliding around in ice and snow because that's what happens in the South. You just have to deal with it. You just got to go. If you go somewhere, you're going to slide there. You know what? We were in the South when it was snowing and we saw an ice truck going 70 miles an hour dropping ice. Yeah, salt. Yeah, it was dropping it. salt for the ice <laughs> on the roads. Dropped, and I'm, we, and, we and these the things are bouncing literally like four feet, five feet off the ground. And I'm just like, where is he going? <laughs> <laughs> Does he Sounds think awesome. he's doing anything? <laughs> All right. So, so during this discussion for counter steer and opposite lock, this is what you guys were doing when we were on skid pads. But now yep. I've got a second question. Why were you in okay. Wilkesbury and didn't come by and say hi? Well, because it was 2011. All right, fine. We'll let you live there. Because <laughs> that's like 20 miles from our house. Cool. Now I know. Now I know where to find you. My grid just got a lot tighter. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were just in Wilkesbury. I'm like, what are you doing in Wilkesbury? Anyway. It's going to be forever just to figure out that's how you say it. So it was a very quick visit. It's actually not how you say it, but that's okay. You're from down there. No, it's not. What do you, how do you say it? Damn it. Looks bare. Damn it. So close. All right, next time. I'm Looks not bare. coming back. I'm, I'm Looks bare when you're not here. It's all right. <laughs> Bill and I go back and forth between Newark and Newark. Newark. Newark, Newark. and Newark. Newark and Newark. God, listen to Delaware Newark. people say Newark is... <laughs> God, they can't say it the right way. Anyway, all right. So, uh, <laughs> counter steer opposite. I love lock. the little north. Uh, yeah. I, yes, it's fun to do. It's fun to do. Learn how to do. It. I love the little uh, like northeastern prejudice you guys have. Like oh, Rhode Island, you live these northern Pennsylvania. Like, oh my gosh, <laughs> that's the same way in the south. I just don't know what y'all are talking about at all. <laughs> I'm from Worcester. Anyway, Worcester, Jen, Worcester, ma, Worcester, ma, yes. Jen. Opposite lock, you good with it? You've done you've done this on the skid path. I know you have. Yes. Okay. May not have realized that I was doing it on the skid path, but right. Yeah, yeah you're just catching you're just catching a slide. You kind of turn into the slide to sort of bring things back in the line. Like you just the idea is correcting it, bringing it back in the line with what you're already doing. All right. So if somebody trying to be cool in front of you and they say oppo lock or counter steer, you guys are now fluent. This is true. We've just crossed off more jargon. Thank you, Ben. Yep. Yes. Thanks for having me.